Hello everyone. In this video, I want to discuss about composites and especially some based properties. Um, just as a short introduction, we differentiate uh, in Hypermesh what we call zone-based properties, which are basically PCOMP or PCOMP P uh, G in the Australian of Distract, from um, P-based property, which are PCOMP P in OpDistruct, and which are re uh, recommended as soon as you're dealing with complex stacking. So if I'm coming back to uh, zone-based composites, here uh, a model with three different zones, and there are some capabilities which we propose, uh, which we offer for uh, P-based, for p p which we do not offer for zone-based. Uh, this includes here the possibility to review um, your composites uh, with the play layers and directions. Because in zone-based, we do not have, have information about how the plays are connected from one zone to the other. That said, we have the possibility to absorb some laminates uh, from, uh, the, uh, from the zone-based properties in order to recreate the, uh, the play-based property for the review. Uh, first, let me go to the composite browser uh, because there, is some, there are some capabilities that I would like to show. So let me go to model, composites. Um, right now, we don't have any um, uh, laminate yet. And if you uh, know our software and the composite browser, you know that we can extract material in uh, composite data, uh, including ABD matrix or uh, any other composite information from uh, the, um, either the zone-based or the play-based properties. But for this, we need to um, create uh, first here what we called an analysis. And uh, this analysis, as we are on the zone-based, we cannot do it on the laminate. If we had a laminate, we could run directly on it. So here, instead of selecting uh, an entity, I will select an element, for instance, element at this location. And once I have this analysis, I can run it and I will get access to the different information that are available. So this is one short thing that I wanted to show you. Now, how to activate the review. Uh, first step will be to duplicate the view here. Uh, duplicate, let's say, uh, create a second hypermesh window. So from version 22.2, we authorize two or multiple hypermesh sessions in the same framework, in the same GUI. And I will load again my model uh, here. Again, as OptiStruct. And the reason why I'm loading a second one is because um, the root, uh, when we absorb the laminate, it will uh, delete the current properties and create a new one um, with a pre-based definition. So this left-hand side model will be my work model. This right-hand side model will be my review model. And now I can go to file, load script. Uh, I will pick... Uh, the script which is on my installation HM and it does not require anything it uh, looks and it changed directly the properties to pick on P properties and now if I activate the review mode I can review the directions um, for any of my uh, area if in my model. So here it is. Hope this helps. Goodbye everyone.